welcome back everybody. It's Gina again. I've got another entry to share. This one is going to Rachel at Roxy Creations. Uh, Rox, uh, Rachel's in Italy. So again, there's. Uh, I've got to get this in the post. So I want to do a quick um, flip through so you guys can see what I decided to make for her. I took an A4, again, tea stained, folded in half so that I have four sides. And then on the front, again, I've done a, another um, of the book page pockets. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz um, lacy die, um, yeah, lacy, like a crocheted lace die. And I've added that along there and then made this tag to, that goes in its back pocket. I've done, um, I've added, you know, some more of the, oh, yes, these are the papers from, um, Nikki Adgun, I was talking about in a couple of videos back. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful kit that Nikki's got. I'm going to put the link to this kit in the description box below because um, Nikki was so kind to give this to me as a, um, a little gift, and I appreciate it. And I, when I printed it out, it is absolutely beautiful, guys. So do check that out. Um, I knew there was something else about this particular one I wanted to tell you guys about. <clears throat> but they are gorgeous papers. I really, really like it. So here I just altered a postcard with this image. Um, and then an old piece of lace there stitched. And then I stitched around it. So it's another bit of writing space. And that's tucked into that pocket. And then I've added a little label here. Um, did some more collaging here. And then this is some French... Uh, lace that I've gotten from my stash. And then inside here I've tucked um, just, you know, little, um, this is a little vintage playing card. And then this is an old photo. And then another, like a, a um, train ticket. And that was a digital. <clears throat> So here again, I've added something um, personal for Rachel to read, um, and then it offers a pocket so that she can add other items. And then inside here, <coughs> made a pocket here with more lace, another um, bit of trim, and then I added that little butterfly. Again, this is uh, Nikki's papers. They are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then here I've just made a journal card and then just tucked in, <coughs> excuse me, various pieces. That's a um, tea card. And then just other bits of ephemera from my stash. Um, that's a little stamped ticket that I've got. And then just other little, little bits and pieces that I thought went along with this. And another little journal card there that's tucked in. So I've uh, reinforced this one with a bit of muslin along the center. And then over here, I've got a little pocket here with a couple of tags. And that's a little stamped image. And those are tucked in there. Well, I'm going to keep them out for now because you've got another um, pocket here. And I've lined that with some paper. And then just added another little journal card in there. So I'll put these back. And then in this back pocket, again, that's uh, the papers from that collection. Uh, just another little journal card. And then I've included one of these. And I've done a video uh, showing how to make these. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out. Um, just added some papers for my stash and made a little notebook for her. And then over to the back here, I made a belly band with one of the flowers, and that's an old mother of pearl uh, button. And then here, I've just taken some of the paper. This is, this is one of the papers. Isn't that beautiful? And then I've just aged it and stamped there. So there's more writing space there as well. And that's been tucked in. This has got the um, piano roll paper in this uh, belly band. And then I've layered other strips, um, bits of paper from this. And then uh, some fabric behind that. Lots of old trims. 
and then this is a vintage envelope with a little journal card that's been tucked in there. And then I have that So you can see all the layering on there. I've done a tutorial for how to make this belly band as well, so I'll try to remember to put those links in the description box below so you guys can check those out. And then I've stamped it so that she'll know that's from me. So this is going to Rachel at Roxy Creations. Again, I will put Rachel's um, link to her channel in the description box, and you can check it out if you want to participate in her birthday giveaway uh, um, no, sorry, birthday friendship journal challenge. So thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.